Robbie, how do you try and sum that one up then? <laughs> how long we got? I think, do you know what, I'd have been really disappointed to, to draw it and to lose it in, in the manner that we did is, is obviously, it's, it, it's not good enough on our part but I thought the players were performance wise for the, for the main very very good, I thought the game plan worked, we should have scored more goals with the opportunities we had. Um, every goal that you concede is preventable in my view and some are more preventable than others and we did, we did sort of gift them a couple I think. Um, first goals offside mind that they score so yeah it's a difficult one because I still come off the pitch obviously very disappointed that we haven't got the result but pretty pleased with, with lots of aspects of the performance and for a team that everybody tells me um, got nothing to play for I don't buy into that but I think they proved it today that the players were, 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 were battling, were running, were, were fighting for every, every scrap out there. Yeah. If you just look at that first half, first of all, how pleased were you with the players at that time? Well, I was pleased, but we should have scored more goals. We should, we should have come in five. Um, if it had been 5 2 at half time, I don't think anybody would really. I know it sounds really daft, but the, the, on reflection of the game, that's what we should have, should have been like. So, um, you know, we're, we're down to the bare bones in terms of players. We've got six or seven who would be classed as, you know, senior players missing. So the boys that are out there at the minute are giving me everything. Um, and like you say, it's uh, it's it's going to be a busy summer again, but I, c I can't fault them today. Luke Charman got his first and second goals for the club. How pleased you have to see him get off the mark? Yeah, really pleased. He, he's needed doors like any striker. Excuse me. And um, I thought his general play was very good as well. So yeah, Luke Luke's been getting closer and closer. And like you said, to, to get his couple of goals today, the first one an excellent finish. You know, because he's got a lot of time when you go through one one on one with a goalkeeper like that. Um, so it, it's took him a long time to, to get up to speed and um, I think now you're seeing the benefits of that because when they come in you try to get up to the speed and then it's almost like they hit a bit of a brick wall because they're, you know, they're not used to it so I think he's come through that now and you're seeing the benefits of it. You recalled Ethan Bradley yesterday put him straight into the, the team today, how do you think he got on today? Yeah so we've, we, we've had a, um, a plan with Ethan, a development plan and um, we wanted to, to maybe play him a little bit more often, but the team was struggling at the time. I didn't think it was quite right, and my experience with, with other young players in, in the past um, has proved that. So, yeah, Ethan did very, very well. His loan was really successful. The guys at Spennymore looked after him, but it was men's football at a, at a decent level. So, um, he's firmly in our thoughts, and moving forward, he'll build on that and get stronger and better. It was kind of a busy one yesterday with Jake Eastwood coming in as well on emergency loan. Just your thoughts around that, that whole move? And his, yeah, his so points. we got all the, the senior goalkeepers are, are injured and unavailable, so um, you can't just run with, with the youth team goalkeeper because you know if he gets injured or goes down ill overnight, what, what do you do? So, yeah, listen, Sheffield United have, have helped us out with that one. Um, he met up with us yesterday, and although well, he scored, uh, conceded four. I don't think there was many that you could sort of point at him, possibly. So it's just one of those weird situations that we had. Sometimes you just get injuries in, in the same position, and obviously, goalkeeper wise, you can't really cover it with, with an outfield player. What's the sort of thoughts this week now uh, to the final game at, at Newport, and how do you sort of prepare to thaw that, that last game? This yeah, week? it's not easy. Um, so all the players will, will have a bit of uh, recovery time, as always. We, we want to go there and, and, and perform and try and win the game, of course we do. Um, so that would be that would be the plan. Um, might be a couple more youngsters blooded in, in that, but unfortunately, so Peter Thomas would have been involved today, but he, he got an injury in the week. So um, it'll be a case of sort of counting who's available and see if we can get a bus for them.